thought I'd have a go at this painting today, another old one off my uh, blog. Uh, nice little winter scene, but I might try and just jazz it up a bit, try and make it a bit more atmospheric, a bit more moody, try and create some, some light coming through the, through the scene. So let's have a quick look at the materials. All the usual gear, got ultramarine, lemon yellow, paints, grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red, got me a large run rancinake ready to go in the water jar, little brush for all the finer details and 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. So another quick look before we start and it's, uh, it's crack on. So there's not going to be many colours in this one. I think it's just going to be uh, a bit of this one, a bit of raw sienna. Just crash that in. Something like so. Then might go with a bit of ultramarine and burnt umber. A bit of drama in the sky, a bit more blue. And I'll probably just stick with those three colours actually. You know, not real, no real need to use anything else. Um, a lot of snow down there, so. I'm just going to take that off, just lighten that a bit, lighten that, wet it, and just use this tissue like an eraser. Um, how's that looking? A bit more burnt umber, ultramarine, nice and dark. A bit more blue. Maybe stick a few little few clouds in there just to contrast white clouds against the darker areas. Oh, I threw it tissue in the. Never mind, I've got another one there. That's a word. Um, now I might darken this area because I want the these are like a little farmhouse shed or something sort of going on down there. Um, so let's darken that a bit more and then I'll just I might scrape that out, see what it looks like. Um, paper stretched a little bit so I'm just gonna get it flat before I go to work with the uh, with the card and the scraping. Um, it might be a little bit too wet for a moment. See one way of doing it, if you just look up, you can see the light shining on it, you can try and determine how wet it is. So I think if I tried it now, um, it's just slightly too wet, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to just hold fire on that a minute, and I'm just going to go and just clean the brush a bit. Clean the brush, take the excess off on, not the excess off on the uh, tea towels. I'm just going to go raw sienna. Well, let's give this a quick scrape. There we go. It's like a, some kind of farm thing going on there. At least one, just gonna scrape that in like that. Let's 
still it's too wet. Come back to that in a bit. Good light made it dry off the beard line. Yeah, that's... I'll put some colour on now, I think it looks a bit, bit naff. See how you see how that's... It's going on quite nicely now and then just putting some cross pieces in. Got like a little just a little fence there. We can see our fence giving bits of wood. Don't put them all in nice and parallel, just put them in at funny angles. Bits missing here and there. Just adds a little bit of detail in the distance. Um, that building looks a bit rubbish, so what I might do is just put a bit of colour on it. Uh, just get a bit of a bit of raw sienna on the roof, a bit more water. You can cover that fairly well. More water and some on there. Some on the side. Just something there. Um, clean this brush just to more blue, sort of, sort of bluey shadows. Like a little path. Bit of raw sienna, a bit of ultramarine there, and we've got like a sort of path that sort of sort of turns like that. Something like so. somewhere out of the way. Most of these I've never used. I mean look, look at the size of this. Uh, that's like the extra large run ransom. I've never even used it. I might have to try that. I'll try that one day. Um, yeah I've got a medium one here. Never used it. There's a small one. Very rarely used it. Um, just need a little flat brush. Never use any of it. I, I used to try it. That year, years and years ago, before I, before I had a run around some once, just like a standard flat brush. Um, it depends what, what style you're into, really. Um, everyone's got their own favourites. This is just a three quarter inch flat brush. Um, bit of brown, a bit of blue. But um looks no up there. Put 
Sorry, off they go. somewhere. I'm just going to go brown and blue. Make a sort of shadowy colour. And then you need to decide which way is the light going. I'm going to say the light's coming from there and then there is sort of this is in shadow and bits here and there. Um, I could be more deliberate with this. Um, I'll take, take, try and take your time a bit more than what I'm doing. Uh, let me have a bit more like that, straight across. Imagine some will be like a tree or something out on the side. Um, stick up in the sky uh, just up in this cloud somewhere just in front of the cloud a little bird flying away and then somewhere in the dry area just gonna pop me now I'm gonna call that one too so Let's see what it looks like in the mount and then compare it to the uh, the original painting. So here's our painting in the mount. So if we go in and have a closer look at it. Well first, let's uh, just compare it to the original. But, I mean you can see it's completely different. I never try and do copies of paintings, I just use them as reference. I mean all I've used this for really is the compositional reference. The colours and mood and atmosphere, I've, I've tried to change it completely really. Try to create a more sort of atmospheric sky. Um, mixes of um, ultramarine, burnt umber and raw sienna. I mean these unpainted parts here suggest light. Um, bit of tissue there, just tuck out a bit of cloud. Just to move contrast against the, the darker areas. Same three colours used for the um, trees. You can see where I've scraped out these fence posts there, just to add a bit of bit of detail to the scene. Uh, the two buildings, um, average at best. I mean, this sort of landmass down here, you've, you've just got combinations of. Uh, sort of damp areas reflecting the skies and shadows and the sort of unpainted white bits uh, meant to suggest the snow. Um, or sensor light suggested by these little bits of shadows coming off the fence posts. And then we've got our little figure there walking his dog. So again, completely different from the original. And uh, I guess it's just uh, comes down to personal preference, which, which style do you prefer? Well, thanks for looking. Um, thanks for watching rather. Um, keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.